application and website, we have uh, so many programming language to create the complete application and also a website. For the basic of creation of this page and website is to be HTML programming language, which is defined as a hypertext markup language. Then second thing is to be a CSS cascading style sheet and third one is JavaScript, which is called as a JS. So these three is a major programming language to create the complete application and also complete website. So HTML is defined as a content part of a website and also CSS um, is to be called as a design part of a web page and application and JavaScript is called as an action part. So Here we see the example which is made up of made up of the animation property. Yes. This animation property which is used for so many examples, right? If you want to uh, add the animation in website and web pages, we definitely choose the animation property like uh, 2D, uh, two-dimensional animation and also 3D for so many movies in 3D and 2D. So this is a basic example for the animation property which is done by the CSS cascading style sheet. Here we go. Yes. So I just create a HTML page for the rotation of a cube. So yeah, here is the example for the uh, rotation of cube, which is made up of the CSS property. Here is the HTML page of the creation. So I just run the page first. I just open the HTML file here. Yeah. This cube is rotated for the infinite times by using the animation property, yes, which is look like in three dimension, 3D, X, Y, Z direction. So this example is done by the uh, in this program. Yes. Okay. So in this case, I include the HTML function default snippet, and within a div tag, we creating a class selector as name as a main. So within a subdivision of a child class, I create a main box as a class selector and the six types of a division is divided to be a separate class name. First one, front class selector, back and left selector, right selector and top class selector and bottom. So I just include some words on the uh, side of this cube. So welcome to explore IT for quantum. These six values will be placed on the six sides, which just takes place in the HTML page. Then in external uh, style sheet, include the all CSS property. So within this selector portion, including a body tag, so background color is to be completely black color here. Then with the, within the main class selector, including the width and height of the sides, and also margin side of the values. Then perspective property which is used for the three dimensional portion alignment on the CSS example. Next one main box is in second class letter including a width and also transform style perceive 3D which is placed as a three dimensional. So including a X direction, Y direction and also Z direction. After that creating an animation property. First thing, the role value which is an animation name of that, then we including a duration time and timing function which then finally the iteration count of the rotation. Then transform origin including the value 2D and 3D dimension for that. After that which is uh, subdivision of main box, we have the division, totally we have the Within main box, we have a six sides, so six div tag here. 
So we're choosing a position value position in absolute, which is completely work for the complete web page and height of that is good. And also opacity, which is in output, we just saw that the transparency, the inside the element also we just viewed by this the opacity property. So opacity value, color, text color, and text alignment, line height of the text, and font family, then font size of the text. Then within a front front class letter using the transform property translate z 100 pixel so which is placed on a z direction movement and also that have a background color and box shadow which is outer side of the box we have the shadow here right out of the element shadow of it so which is takes place by the box shadow property in CSS so we have that x axis y axis and blur portion of the box shadow then also we have the definition of a Declaring the color also. Then second side of the uh, selector and also we are adding the rotation y direction of a 180 degree which is completely move on to the 180 degree and translate z axis which is 100 pixels. Then background color and also we have the same box shadow color that value of the blur portion also including same color here also. So we have the Shadow, red color shadow also there after the red side element. Here is it, red element. Then left side rotation by translate Z 100 pixel and background color of that and box shadow including it. Then right side of the class selector including the rotation degree and also translate Z and background color and box shadow color declaring here. Then top portion we have the rotation 90 degree and z axis 100 pixel and background color and also box shadow color then bottom property trans uh, translate z axis and also rotation x minus 90 degree and which have the background color and also box shadow of the same color and we are choosing the black portion also after this we including the animation property so which is completely worked by the at keyframes keyword which is called as in mainly used for this used for the specifying the animation code so without the keyframes function we doesn't work the role animation name here we define this animation name as in role here right so same thing will be done here also then only that animation will be takes place here so uh, uh, this is in 20 percent which is the the animation started as in 20 percent it just move on to the rotation y direction and also rotation x direction of 360 degree after the animation move on to the 40 percent uh, in complete animation we have the uh, 0 to 100 percentage that is in uh, minimum and maximum value so until 20 percent it just move on to that uh, this direction and after the move on the animation is moved to the 40 percent means it just change like a 90 degree of a y direction and also minus 360 degree of a x direction then when the animation will move on to the 60 percent means just move on to the y direction minus 360 degree and rotation x is to be 450 degree and if the animation is more to the 80 percent it just move on to the 360 degree of y direction and x direction is minus 90 degree so which is defined on the css code for completely accessing the CSS code to the HTML, we including the link tag within the H section. So, in a link relation of a style sheet CSS and hyper reference, we are choosing the file name with extension with the same folder and type choosing as in text or CSS. That's all in the code of this example. Yeah. Once again, I just run this code. Yes. So, which is the six sides of the thing? We have a six text, and also the side will be based on the scale. Thank you. Here, Roshmita from Explore ID Corp as a friend and trainer.